Uh, thanks to coming today to join this Cloud Cup uh, 2023. Uh, today, uh, my topic is I the topic I want to share is the Laravel marketing framework. Uh, Laravel is the most popular web framework in PHP community. So, uh, and the marketing, I believe, that is very important. Uh, I would say the problem when you write in the unit test because there are some external service you want to mark, right? So, um, so I think if we combine those, this will be benefit to every developers who is interested in this topic. So let's get started. So I'm John Liu. Right now I'm working in uh, Netscope and I'm full stack engineer. So I will touch the, both the front end and the back end. And also I'm the campus back end inst instructor at the App or School. So if you have brothers or sisters who is still studying in the university or uh, for a master degree, probably he or she will ma make it there. And also I am a lecturer and speaker of some other platforms and also a father of a son and a kid. I think this is the most difficult role for me. <laughs> okay, so just let you know me very roughly. So first, I want to uh, make everyone to know about this one is what is the mock framework. And mock framework, just like you see, this is a type of testing framework that assists the creation of the fake of the, or the uh, mock objects. So we want to simulate the behavior of complex because there are some lots of external objects or service we don't know and we don't want to care about that. Because only the testing we want to check is the uh, main logic here. And this part is as known as a uh, test double. So I believe this uh, term will be uh, more familiar with some of you. So I believe uh, everyone will be a little bit know about what is a mock. So I just want to uh, bring out the some uh, double variation we will have today. Because uh, there are too much. If we want to cover all case, probably we need the three hours or four hours, right? So I just want to mainly focus on three main topics, which is uh, I believe this will be used f uh, more frankly uh, when you are developing uh, anything. So the three is a stop, and a mark, and a spy. So first, let's to see the very little bit awkward but I hope this will be very straightforward uh, code for you. So this is a very basic way in Laravel use mockery to do a stop, mark, and a spy. So in the first part of stop, we just use the function like a list and an arrow, a mark to create to, to create a stop object for a show URL service. And for this service, we just make sure this is allow the some function will return the static uh, uh, argument or data. A second one we just we use another word is expect the mock. Uh, we use some expect the list make sure URL will receive the certain string and uh, once just only once then return. The last one the spy is very simple because just just like just like stop this function. But because we call the functions different, the spy, so it will do something different, which we will uh, browse later. Okay, then this is very straightforward code. We just to prepare a, a CUT and do the action. So what the function we want to test is check out. So just imagine that it's very basically uh, e-commerce uh, function for checkout. And then we assert the stop is correct and we assert for the spy. Because spy will be only be checked in the end of the code. All right, then the checkout function, what is it? What is it? Um, it's very simple. You can see just uh, set an original URL and uh, pass this to our external service, short URL service, right? Then we set the URL to our order and return order. But before we return order, we send the notification. So I believe in your case, it probably will be 
I, I believe it's very, very simple, but I just want to know you know, uh, uh, very easy to know what we will do. So let's browse in. So below, uh, is so above is my is our unit test and also my uh like SUT the code we want to test. So what's the mockery framework do when we do lots of those kind of things? First, create mock object. So you can see on the first two line, we use the function mock and show you our service and to see what it's doing. So in the mockery.php file, uh, we call this mock. And in the PHP, we have a function like a call user from array. So we can call any function in the runtime with the parameters. So we call the uh, mock this function to the container.php. Oh, look, before we go into that, um, I will show you uh, some source code later, but I have removed lots of uh, it, if else condition or exceptions throw like that because I think this is not important today. But if you are interested in this topic and go to see a layer of source code, you will see this layer because it's very important to protection some negative case, right? But today I just want to let you know the happy pace. What's the happy pace will do? Okay, so in a container mock, uh, it will do like this one, it will use the builder. So mock will use the builder pattern to build a mock configuration. And also there are lots of if else. This one just only half of the <laughs> bunch of if else. And the the goal is to add the type, either add the target. I just want to say, okay, this builder will build what kind of type of mock objects. But right now we are creating the mock object. Then uh, it will call this function, get mock configuration, because they it says no, what kind of mock type it will build. Then it will check for name mock clashes. What is that? Actually, in the container, uh, it's well to remember what kind of mark it has created. So it will use some hash uh, hash to check is this the this mark object exists in the container. So this don't need to create another the same object anymore. Then it will use the guest generator to generate uh, the some uh, mark object. So let's dive into the generator. The generator actually is a stream manipulation generator. What does it do? You can see on the first line, there is a file gets content from a file, mock.php. So what is mock.php? I try to move less to uh, our slide, but I think it's too hard because it has a uh, uh, 800 lines, I believe. <laughs> okay, but I want to know it will load this file. So this file just like a simple mock file. So our framework load this file into the memory. Then it will use this code to generate the object. Okay, so um, before we Go into that state, we can see this for each first, the list pass. So when the memory load this mock object code directly, then it will use the those kind of classes, like the code typing pass or some pass to replace the string. So it will use the class to manipulate the code inside the uh, previous simple code. Okay, so so what is this? So it will use this code to load. So for example, just like this framework is writing the code and then use the new code to create the mock object. Because each object will have some different behavior, but also will have some shared attributes or Actions max like that. So it will use this one. 
use this part. And let's create an instance and remember the mark. Remember this, uh, we need to check is the mark we have created before. So we do those things. All right, so we create a mock object. So we call the allows to the mock object. What will happen? This is very important part. If you set a debug point there, and you find you are not open the mock.php, what you open is a evil3.php. What's that? So this is what we, uh, I just told. The framework create a object by the code he write. So this is a uh, this is a class in the wrong time. This is a class in the wrong time. So you can't just uh, set the debug point in the previous mock.php and hope it will go into there. No, it's happened wrong time. So let's see what this will do. In the allows, uh, it will call the should receive. I believe uh, if you have experience about these parts, you must know this term, should receive. So should receive will to call this higher order messages. So what this will do? When we call the higher, when we go to the, this higher order message, and uh, to call make sure URL. Do you remember this make sure URL? This is a special word for us, right? Because this is a function we want to stop. Okay, let's see what this will do. What is code? Why could go to here? In a higher order message, in a PHP it has a magic mess, this kind of features. So each time when you call any function, uh, you don't know, or like that, it will go into this code, the dash code function. And then this dash code function uh, we'll do some things. And most important part is expectation. It will call the, it will try to get the expectation of the mock object. So what is this expectation? This is actually a composite expectation.php. And inside this function is also use the code and it will use a for each for the lots of the expectations. So inside the expectations, each expectation is this class, expectation.php. So we so we can observe that the expectation will have the core logic and it will be combined into this composite expectation. Later we will see other other case which involve the same logic. So for the expectation is what has a with arguments and then could call with arguments in array. The whole the the task is only to store the arguments in the uh, this expectation object. Okay, so let's go to the and the returns. So and the returns just like we see, it will also go to the composite expectation and the call and the returns and go to add a return from above to bottom, and finally go to call. So, so every time when we call the composite expectation, it will go into the call function. And then it will call the expectation, the end return. So just like composite expectation, just like a wrapper of the lots of expectations. So in the code level, we find you can set lots of different expectations logic and combine this to the same, uh, I would say, gate to use that. Okay, so and the return you will see still just stored to the attribute, the return queue. So it's a use the queue pattern to process lots of diff uh, return value. Okay, so we go to stop usage. This is our production code. We call this external service make sure you are alone. So what will happen? Because the external service, we have a mark that, so it's mark object. So we go to the value, I guess, just anything. Three, four, five, six. So if you mark 100, so you probably have evaluate 100s in your code. 
Okay, so we call this function mockery handle mask code. So it will try to find the handler. So what is the handler? Handler is an expectation director. This is a new class. So what does it do? The director sounds like someone will command you, right? <laughs> okay, so it will also to check. It will to find expectation and then verify this code. So the expectation has uh, this function verify code. Uh, what is the functionality? It will validate the order and uh, add the actual counts, just like to re record uh, how many times it's been called. And then also call the get return value. I think this is the most important part in the stop. Because we just want it to return the certain uh, data we want it to return, right? So in the get return value, it will use uh, to pop or shift the data from the return queue. Okay, so that is the stop. Stop. Then in the mock, we will see lots of the same flow here. So in the mock, uh, after we create an object, the mock object, then we can call it expect. So for expect, we have another very similar fun a class is named is expect higher order message. So what's that? Uh, when we call the make sure you know, it will also go to the uh, the code the code is function. It will call its parent. So who is his parent? Yeah, exactly. It's a higher order message that PHP. So the same, just the same, just do the same thing what we observed in the stop of the allow function. Okay, so we don't need to see this again, right? Because we just saw that. So we want to move to this expectation once. Oh, okay. So what's this expectation once? This is the new lines of the expectation higher order message class. So it's actually will to do the uh, to wrap this function the times and times will to call this counts validators. So when we see this this class name, I think it's very straightforward. You can know. So this is just to validate, right? To validate how many uh, times it's been called. So when we use the expect and call any function, it will help you to verify as it is one time to check it will be called once first. So right now when you set your logic like once or probably twice or third, it's also uh, accessible for this monthly framework. It will do totally the same thing. Just to call the composite expectation and then call it once and then back to this part. Just do the same thing. And when we call and the return, just like what you observe in the stop. So mark and the stop, they use this way to use the same code to do the two things. Okay, so this is what it's do. Okay, let's check how to use the mark in the production code. Okay, so we still handle the the same, always the same. But so right now, I want you to remember this attribute, the actual count, the actual count. Remember this, the actual count. So when we call this function, it will be called uh, just plus, plus, and increment one by one. Then we want to verify. Yeah, the, mo the difference between the stop and the mark is we want to verify, right? So when we verify, when the end of the testing, it will call back to call the mockery the close this function. So it will call the mockery tear down. So if you know the PHP or other parts, the tear down is will be called in the end of the code. So the mockery tear down will go to container and also call the mockery verify. And the container will to filter the old mocks, uh, old mocks objects and to call a mockery verify. So I believe you will know 
we move to the eval access this function. This mock objects, so we call mock verify, and we call the director verify. So you see the director. So if we, so all the verify logic is inside the class name, which include the director, like that. So the expectation director has a verify, and so we'll call the verify of the all expectation.php. And it's well for each the all count validators. And these validators, uh, we will call the validate with the list attribute actual count. So this is what I asked to remember that actual count. Okay, so if the function being called three times, four times, then the actual count is will be must be four, right? Then we'll go to the go inside the validates. Uh this validator is will be divided to the this kind of class like exact. And this validate with the n. Oh, this is extra count. Just check if it's not. If it's not, then just through the except exceptions. So what we learn here is the all this kind of logic is divided not by if else block or switch block. It's divided by class. So we can see in a source code. What we saw is the uh, access.php, but you also could, could find the as list or as mouse like that. So if you want to uh, extend the different logic here for the verify, just you can extend here. Okay. All right, then we go to the spy. Okay, so for the spy, uh, we have just the, the last line spy, this spy notification class. Okay, then uh, this spy will be a little bit different. It will also call a mock, but it will call a, a additional function is called should ignore the missing. So should ignore missing just to set the attribute for the mock object. So what you need to remember is this mockery ignore missing equals true. Just this one, just this line. Please remember remember that. All right, then go to production call. We call the send notification. And in the same function, just like the stop and the mock, we will call this dash mockery handle uh, mass call as well. But we have another call. This call mockery gets received mass calls. Okay, we will push this mass. We will push this send notification mass to the this gets received mass calls function return object. Then for this mockery ignore missing, what I ask to remember because it's true. So it's we're going to like this function. Mockery return value for mass. Okay, we call this function. So what is this function do? This function will use this reflector. So if you have experience in PHP field, probably you heard the reflector API. Okay, it will simulate the class and you can access the attribute or function any information of an object or say of a class. Then uh, this function, what is will return? Because it's spy, so probably you don't need to care what it's do. So it's just return the some if you set the function, the return type is string, it will return input string, just like you see. And you find if this function the return type is boolean, it will return false. I would say this is a very huge progress in PHP. Because PHP just after uh, seven point four or add, then we have the type, this kind of, uh, I would say the rows inside the code. So, and if you have other experience on other static languages, you must be think this should be normal or common. But this is a new thing for uh, most of the PHP community. Okay, then. For the list by verify, we call this should have received, we create a spy object. So absolutely, the should have received will go into this uh, verification expectation. 
because it's different to the mark. Mark is will verify on the end uh, of the testing, but we do this by code uh, pro proactively. So we go to the like X list. So what does X list do? So we can see uh, we can use like this function to switch the constable data class and do absolutely the same thing just like what we observe in access.php okay then we saw the director again when we saw the director that means we need to verify so okay the director to verify and the use list receive mass calls to verify then we go to the expectation I verify so after this pause, it's just to do the same thing, just like what we learned on the expector da PHP. Okay, so this is the part I want to show. Uh, is all the verify logic is inside the expectations, so it will try to coalesce uh, in the end. All right. So unless we call once. So the ones just do totally the same thing. But what I want to bring up is this part. It will clone the expectation and clean the count validators. Because like you see, we set lots of count validators uh, here. So probably it has some mess inside this object. So this one's in the spy scenario. It will clean the count validators. And finally, do the same thing. Call, hey, director, director, help me to verify. Yeah. So I think that's all. So hope today you must be some have some idea about oh. So at least in the level of PHP, if you want to do the stop, mark, or spy, what is the happy pace will do? But I encourage you to see. Um, the more logic or mechanism what it will do because it's time I can't to explain what is the refactor, uh, reflect reflection API in the PHP like that. So if you're interested in that, welcome to explore more. And uh, this is five parts I want you to remember. Uh, you can explore its mockery, uh, mock, expectation, and director, the last generator, and the convert data. This is very important component of the mockery framework. And also, uh, I pulled this very long time, just how everyone can scan and give me a sound like, like that. <laughs> yeah, this is my fan page. And sometimes I will share uh, uh, interesting information or something I learned in the work like that. Yeah, but and always oh, in Chinese or Mandarin. So don't worry about languages. Okay. And also, uh, I have got a sponsor from my company, and also our recruiter is here. So, <laughs> so I need to put this slide. And right now, I'm working in this company, Nesco, very happy company. Well, uh, and it's uh, fully remote, fully remote. And we also, I think most of our engineers is uh, Python and Go land like that. So if you are an uh, expert or developer of these fields, welcome to join us. And we are hiring. Yeah. And if you're really, really interested in, this in our post-section, uh, you can reach out to me. I can tell you who is uh, our recruiter, like that. OK, this is final one. So this is uh, still the, the fans page uh, QR code. So thank you for your time. And this is my first time to use uh, English to do the technical speaking. So hope it will be benefit to you and you have learned something today. Thank you. Thank you everyone.